Hello YouTube friends and uh, welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to continue with the Rough Rider Cotton Sampler series. So uh, for those of, you, those of you who don't know, I uh, have got all the previous versions and have also a video about that. If you like you can check it out and uh, we'll probably have to make a update because uh, there are some new cotton samplers from Rough Rider and this is one of them. So. Uh, Right from the start, uh, let me uh, t tell you that uh, for some reason they decided to make another uh, denim micarta series. So this is the previous one, uh, which featured a T10 carbon blade, no shield, uh, no uh, uh, color liner. But uh, with this one, we have second one. So in the previous one, there was uh, 10 knives, and uh, I will be really interesting to see how many knives will be in this series. Right from the start, let me tell you that in the previous one there was no cotton sampler. So, good to see that uh, uh, they included uh, this pattern in uh, this series. So, the model number is RR2349. Like I mentioned, this is the cotton sampler pattern. It is built on a curved jack frame. And was mainly used back in the days uh, by uh, cotton buyers. Uh, they have cut out a sample of uh, from the bale of the cotton. They rubbed it on the flat part uh, of the knife here, and then just by uh, by the by the feeling of the of the fabric or the, the material, they could uh, ascertain the quality of the sample, and then they uh, bought uh, it for the company. And this is how the trade was done back in the days. It features a pronounced uh, spoon-like uh, white belly, almost li like a exaggerated spade blade. So who knows for what uh, purposes uh, the knife was used? Maybe for spreading jam and or peanut butter on a sandwich, but also cutting rope and so on. But definitely a really nice and functional uh, profile right there. Okay, so the the cotton sampler, like the previous ones, uh, has a specifications. Let me tell you right now. We have a over length of 18 uh, centimeters, that is 7.1 inches. And the blade is uh, 7.5 or 3 inches with a cutting edge of 5.5 centimeters or 2.2 inches. This part portion here is unsharpened. Uh, the blade width is 2.2 centimeters or 0 0.9 inches. Uh, the thickness is 2.8 millimeters or 0 0.1 inch. The handle is 10.5 centimeters or uh, or 4.1 uh, inches long and with a thickness of 1.2 centimeters or 0 0.47 inches. Like I mentioned, uh, we have included on the, the on the inlays. Of the denim uh, micarta we have uh, some kind of orange or red uh, g10 liner underneath to give it a really beautiful accent i don't know if that was necessary but definitely it will uh, be different from the previous one when i show you the uh, the micarta also uh, this this new series includes a nice shield uh, which is uh, also made out of nickel silver like the bolsters and pins we have a brass uh, tube for uh, your lanyard which is also nice to have uh, even more so if you are using uh, this knife in a pouch on a belt liners are uh, also um, brass like on previous models One more detail that I would like to pick up is uh, pick out is uh, of course the the fit and finish. So as you can see here, this is everything is nicely and rounded, so no sharp corners there, which is which was a oversight on the first series, which was full stainless steel and had really really sharp corners. The weight comes at um, 93.1 grams or 3.3 ounces, so uh, nice and light. The pull on this one are definitely better than on the full stainless steel. This is a nail buster, so almost uh, a nine. This is around six, maybe maybe between six and seven, I would say. So definitely a beautiful, uh, beautiful opening motion, and we have a really nice walk and talk. So. 
half stop at 90 degrees. Now let me uh, show you the, the difference between the Denim My Carter series and the faded blue jean My Carter series. So, uh, yeah, I definitely uh, can see a, a maybe a shade darker. And uh, since these both are polished, and um, there is definitely a stressed uh, finish underneath the polishing. You can see uh, some highlights there. And since I uh, really like to have a, a dedicated shield for uh, for every um, series they make, uh, I was really surprised they did not include one on the T10 uh, carbon uh, steel versions. But for some reason, I don't know we, uh, if we if we do have uh, a need to have uh, right another uh, blue jean my Carter series. The, in my opinion, it would be perfectly fine if they were continuing the previous one. Uh, certainly, people do appreciate to have a, a better quality steel on their knife. Uh, this is your uh, 440A stainless steel with a just your satin uh, belt, satin finish. Nothing uh, special right there. But for some reason, they went uh, back with the with the steel, and also. Uh, uh, they made a complete new series so the the previous one had 10 models if i'm not mistaken may still uh, have to uh, get one and uh, one uh, has arrived so uh, i have to film that but uh, yeah definitely uh, definitely uh, happy to see that uh, the cotton sampler pattern is included also i can tell you that uh, in uh, this new faded blue jean there are some patterns, uh, they are not in the previous one, not even uh, with the classic uh, green My Carter series, and not even uh, with this one. And also not with the, which was in between these two. They also <laughs> released the the black uh, My Carter series. Yeah, uh, too many My Carter series at once, so yeah. Uh, but uh, for the collectors, you can definitely pick whatever color uh, you like i'm still hoping uh, and my fingers are crossed uh, that they will release uh, a dedicated brown uh, canvas my carter series at some point because i don't know why that is one of the most popular uh, colors of my carta out there the natural my carta uh, is also called so it is what it is okay uh let me briefly uh, talk about the pricing and then we'll be going to the size comparison so like all previews um, 440a uh, rough riders these are priced very very well so usually you have uh, the smallest one at around the ten dollars to the to the more expensive one are around seventeen dollars so this sits nicely in the middle so 14.99 that is if you are buying directly from smoky mountain Nightworks. they are uh, the usa Based distributor and also owner of this brand. If you are looking for a, a, a European based company, I will try to uh, link some below. Usually, um, uh, usually, uh, if you if you want to uh, to get one, uh, you have uh, to spend a little bit of time to search around. But uh, some of them are available. If you are from UK, then uh, Haney Haynes is one of their distributor. So they have uh, lots of uh, different models. I don't know if uh, this one is available. And Couture Litre Angel uh, in France, where I'm buying my uh, reference from, they have uh, some samples or some pieces available, but not in great quantity. So, yeah. Okay, so now let's continue with the comparisons part. So let's start with the, some traditional. So here is the peanut from Rough Rider. Navy blue, uh, small Swordbuster or Swordbuster Junior from Case. Here is the Tribal Lock from Case. Here is a, a large Swordbuster uh, from Voss. Or should I say work knife or peasant knife or farmer's knife. Uh, 
here's a Texas toothpick from Buck. Uh, good to good to know that uh, this pattern will be included also in this series. So stay tuned for that. A small stockman from Ralph Ryder. Let me put in the picture also one of my favorites, the uh, Rough Rider Triple R or Reserve uh, Swayback with also the more uh, available work knife also, for, which is the, the, the GC Viper pattern Swayback or similar to that, of course. Okay, let's continue with some more, tra not traditional, but more modern knives. So here is the CVV Elementum. Here is a uh, small reptilian. Spider Coderica uh, had to be put in the picture, of course. Kershaw Leek. Nine forty from Benchmate. A right model two. Kaiser Pinch. There's my uh, Chinese uh, my carta bug out. And let's close it down with the K bar Dozier Folding Hunter. Okay, so overall, another uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful traditional pattern for uh, any uh, collector uh, and also for uh, a great user if you are more inclined to these traditional knives. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can, of course. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. A big thumbs up to you. And if you're not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and gear oriented, but sometimes I do other stuff regarding minor hobbies. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching and wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.